Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of With The Waves, coming at you every Monday, except for the last Monday. My bad. Um, we're doing a solo episode today just because, one, I've been hearing it from a lot of people low-key, they're like, oh, like, are you ever gonna do, like, like, what the, what's the vibe for this podcast, like, all this jazz, like, are you still gonna do solo episodes? And I was like, you know what, yeah, let's bring those back, because one, editing hour-long videos is a hard thing to do. And my storage has been going berserk because right now I just have the issue of my computer or my computer, my camera literally going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I don't know why, but I've switched the SD card and we're all good for now. But I was just a little disappointed. I'm like, that is like a certain SD card for this camera that because it like continued 4K. I don't know. I think the homeboy was trying to spend my money now that I look back at it. But let's just get right into the video. Okay. So couple recent updates um okay how do I start this let's let's start with the fact that I'm an I'm an alum I graduated college um yeah it was kind of surreal but at the same time like it felt like high school like it I felt like I was like low-key getting the graduation I never got um I don't know it was weird but it was, I think it was because my graduating class for my high school, or my high school, for my college was smaller than my graduating class, class for my high school, so it was kind of funny. I was literally in, like, I literally, I didn't know anyone, point blank period. Um, I walked in there, and I was like, ooh, lived with some of y'all in the dorms, but I def don't feel comfortable enough to be like, yo, what's good? That's def my fault. Should have networked better, especially in journalism and mass communication, um, says it in the goddamn title. We live and we learn. I will learn how to talk post-grad <laughs> I will not be getting my master's and if I do it's probably because I want to and I want to get a better job but as of now I am just free balling it just kidding my plan is to maintain my um internship for the next semester because I just want to chill like I definitely want to build my portfolio that's why I'm like keeping this internship plus making money um and I want to go so crazy on this podcast like I just want to see where it can go I want to do so many so many. I'm going to do so much research. I'm going to literally just dive into what I can, like, I just want to see this grow. Like, already, my God, it's been, it's like, death not growing fast, but the fact that over 100 people are interested in at least one of every episode is, like, crazy. Like, I get an average of, like, 90 viewers every episode, which is still so weird to me because, like, people want to listen. I don't know. It's weird. Just weird. And honestly, thank you because this is like a therapy session to me uh, because I don't like talking to people um, face to face. That is probably why I need a therapist. But at the end of the day, we're going to this whole episode right now is going to be just like a catch up of what what I'm grateful for, like what I am grateful for that happened this year about myself. Funny story, my sister, my older sister, Sarah, she asked me a question. She goes, so what's one thing you're proud of yourself from each year? Or what's one thing you're proud of your whole college experience? And I go, starting this podcast. And she's like, oh, okay, like, what's your favorite thing that happened your freshman year? I was like, um, I guess, like, living in the dorms, like, moving out of the house. And then she's like, okay, your sophomore year. And I was like, mm, like, I was just like, nothing truly stuck out to me. Um, and that kind of took me for a turn. Like, I, I don't know, I looking back at college like it was so fun like I met so many people I experienced so much and at the same time I'm like I kind of left unfulfilled like after my last <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a little secret after my last final I drove home and I think if my friend that I usually drive home with Alana um was with me I don't think I've, <laughs> I would have been feeling this way but you know when you're alone um I <laughs> I put on I don't even know what song it was, but I know there, like, shortly after Glorious came on, and once, like, by Macklemore, but once that came on, I, like, stopped crying. Okay, so more of the story, I was crying. Because I was just, like, I took my last final, and I was just, like, unfulfilled. I was, like, I have three and a half years, and what the fuck? Like, I, it just, and I know this is the, I know this is a rite of passage when it comes to graduating. Like, I know people are going to be questioning their lives. Like, I know it's not a rare occurrence like I, this is basic as fuck for people post-grad to be like wondering and if you and if you are that lucky one that gets a job post-grad congratulations because our keynote speaker said 
you have so many opportunities you do. But at the same time, when you pull up to those opportunities, you are going to be having to apply for over 100 jobs and maybe get that one opportunity. So when he said that, I was like, yeah, we have so many opportunities, like so many jobs. How lucky are you to get all the jobs you apply for? Mm, rare. And so that's why I'm a little nervous. And like I've, I've realized closely this past year that it really matters who you know in the industry that you're going into. Like I was graduating. There's some people in, like on the front, you know, they're getting awards and all that jazz. And they were like. Like, teachers knew them. Like, they were, like, cheesing. And I just go by. Like, I go to the class. I get the grade. I know the teacher. I'm, ba- I'm gone. Which, at the end of the day, I realized that was a bad thing. I probably should have gotten to know my teachers a little bit better. So then, in the future, I could be like, hi, this is Gianna. And they'd be like, oh, my God, how are you doing? Instead of, hi, this is Gianna. I don't know if you remember me. Def not good on my end. And I should have realized that. But now I know, going forward, like, network. Yeah. Anyways, as going forward with graduating, I wanted to bring up a couple things that I've realized through my college experience that, like, I wish I knew earlier. So, for example, um, wish I cared less in the sense of, like, so many people might know me as a person that is carefree, I don't care, but in the end of the day, I actually care so much, it literally keeps me awake at night, um, and I don't know why that happens, truly. But at the end of the day, it, um, at the end of the day, Matt is what Kayla said and told me yesterday because we were like, I was just, she was like, how do you, how do you feel about graduating? And I was just like, I don't feel different, blah, 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 blah. And she was like, and then I was like, at the day, de- at the end of the day, and then I just like stuttered for a second. She's like, no, at the end of the day, it's a night. I just thought that was funny. But basically it's like just to care less, like in the sense of going back to graduation, all these gr- like people were getting awards and they were just like chilling and. They're like, oh, this is like a spirit award, characteristic award, A award, B, like whatever, like scholarly award. And I just sat there and I was like, hmm. Like, I know it doesn't matter, but they make it such a big deal that I'm just like, damn. And I know my father and my mom would have loved to see me up there for sure. But then I, I told myself, I was like, this is not going to matter in a year. Like, yes, you stood up on stage. I'm so proud that you guys got that like award. But I, like at the same time, I'm like. If, even if I got that award, I'd probably put it in my closet and not think about it at the end of the day. Because that doesn't matter to me. Like, in the moment, I was like, damn, like, I wish I got the more award, which is, like, straight A's all four years. Or, like, I wish I was recognized for just, like, going to school and working so hard and, like, graduating, which I did because that's what the graduation commencement's all about. But at the same time, I was like, that's not what I want to like have my life like have myself known to be like yeah sure I'm smart cool I want people that are close to me to know that but I just want to like leave this my life that, mm, let me re- reword that leave this life making an impact in the sense of like everyday life like I don't want I don't know how to explain it but just like really like whenever people hear my name I just want them to be like oh. like uh, no, no bad, no good, like no bad, just no bad, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but I just know, I was talking to, I think it was Kayla, homegirl's always in my life, she's, she's not here today though, isn't that funny, but anyways, um, I was talking to her and I was just like, this is so weird, but I literally just see myself behind a screen, like I see myself, like, you know, when you just like think about where you see yourself in the future and some people are like, oh, like, I see myself, like, being a doctor, I see myself, like, married, I literally just, I have this vision, I, let's stop being fucking dramatic, I have this, like, epiphany that I'm literally, I don't know, I'm just, like, gonna be behind a screen somehow, some way, if that's a radio co-host, a host, a podcaster, who even knows, maybe an actress, maybe I'm gonna be stopped on the street someday, who knows, um, shoulda, coulda, woulda, I wish, one day, maybe I'll take an up improv class or something for fun in my mid-20s when I'm having a midlife crisis. Um, so anyways, more of the story, care less about comparing yourself. When you start comparing yourself, you, you are not going to be able to live the life you want. Don't believe, don't, when you have other people believing in you, 
sure like that's great like I love hearing my mom being like I'm so proud of you I love hearing my dad being like you're so smart I'm so proud of you good luck like you're the best da, 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 da. but when you don't believe in yourself you really got nothing going for you because at the end of the day you are your number one best friend I always tell myself that like of course I have these amazing people around me surround me like they're the best but if you're not with yourself 100% if you're not walking with yourself like strongly into your next step where are you gonna go probably goddamn into the ground probably in quicksand you're probably not gonna make it out because you don't trust yourself and that's something I need to work on because I always tell myself I'm gonna do something and then I end up lazing around I end up just moping and like scrolling on in like social media and it's pissing me off because I just can't get up like I'm so I think it's because I'm finally done that I'm so tired and I just like my body fully is like relaxed like I'm so tired like I'm and it's so funny because other people do way more than me and that's so valid but at the end of the day like I hear my body and I'm tired and I like need to respect that but at the end of the, at the same time get your life going I, I have a pep start right now or a head start she is stuttering this episode but she, I have a head start and so I was like I really need to take this moment to like work on myself and see how much I can make myself grow in these next six months when I have the most time I'll probably ever have especially when um I hope to be having a job in the next year or two or something um in the next six months honestly by August respectfully if I don't then it's okay but at the end of the day I'm gonna be there um and yeah so just realize like if one compare less two believe in yourself because when you don't believe in yourself you're not gonna make it past goddamn like the door like I wish I looking back there were moments in my college career where I was like if I just did not care and truly trusted myself could have probably gotten some good um I don't know just some good portrait moments some just like I I'm speaking for my photography but just some good portfolio pieces if I didn't care like I pick up my camera I think truly this podcast has helped me in the sense of starting to pick up something and just doing it because when I started my photography I oh my god to this day I still compare myself like oh my god like I literally cannot stop doing it I'm always scrolling and I'm like that's cutie I can do it and then when it doesn't come out to the way I, I saw it on Pinterest or like saw it on some uh, other someone else's like account I'm just like damn and then I stopped doing it for a while like I haven't <laughs> I don't know if y'all know but I do be having way too many accounts on Instagram I have with the waves preach it um my personal Gianna Dabdala follow it and then I have jet off with Gianna yeah, she doesn't really, she's not in use anymore. She's been um, MIA. I think it's because I've, I've been trying to find my niche again within photography and videography. But I've also realized, like, I don't really want to go into videography. Like, I, I really enjoy photography and, like, sharing people's stories through still photos. Something about it, because at the same time, it's telling a story, but then you can also, like, try to guess what's happening next. Next. Something about it really gets me going. It gets my gears twisting. There's so many things you could learn from college, but these are just the three that I, like, stand by. And then last one is everyone is here for a yes semester. Everyone is here. But, and especially in my, in your early college years, like, you're finally a freshman. You're, like, just getting out. You're, like, literally living on your own for the first time. And, like, you have so much freedom. But at the same time, you need to realize, like, when you can and when you can't go out and when you should and you shouldn't go out. Because at the end of the day, let's stop saying that. Because when I'm all for you, semester again. But you need to realize when your body's saying no, and you need to realize that it's okay to not go at your friends. Like, FOMO is genuinely not a real thing. Like, I'm sorry, these bars? I don't know how much you'd be having fun. Because do, respectfully, it's how you, like, go and how you, who you go with, of course. But I just never truly have a great time at the bars if I was by myself. Like, I'm, I'm always there with my friends. But then I think to myself, I'm like, let's just have an in day. Like, let's, like, chill and have a movie. Like, I don't really need to go to the bar. Like, it's fun. It's fun getting dressed. 
I don't know, but that's been something I've been twisting and turning about because I'm like, oh, I don't need to stay up till 4 a.m., but at the same time, I'm like, when am I ever going to have these nights again? Because I already know I'm going to be at 9, 9 p.m. in bed by when I'm 30, you know what I mean? Like, I just know I'll be in bed by 9 p.m. But I'm also excited for my 30s because, like, I think that's when I'm, like, finally going to have a full salary. I hope. God bless. Um, and I'll be, like, being my best self because I'm like, mm, I can pay for my own membership. I'm just living my life because I hope it's, like, a good one. I really hope I'm not married because, let me tell you this, let me tell you this. Me and my sisters have an ongoing bit of who's going to get married first. And I, I don't know if this has changed recently because we haven't brought up the topic in about a year. But last time we talked about this, it's been between me and May May. I think the reason May May had it was because she had a boyfriend. So that made sense. But people have been saying like, Gianna, like you don't want a boyfriend, but you're going to get one. Like you don't want kids, you're going to have it first. And I'm really scared for that because I don't want no kids. I just can't do that. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't. Just the thought of a little rascal running around the walls I, and drawing. Oh my God. Just because they, they like, they're vicious. And they don't talk to you for the first like two years. Mm, maybe one. I don't know when kids start talking. I really didn't pay attention when Kanan was growing up. My brother, he is like nine years younger than me. And of course, like he's kind of like my child in the sense of like I'm watching him grow up. Um, not really, figuratively, of course. And it's just like, he, I don't even pay attention. I don't even remember what some stuff is. I don't know, but anyways, no, it's okay to say no, especially when going out, like, you don't need to, wow, I really stared, steered off from that <laughs> little um, segment, but, like, it's truly not that, like, difficult to say no and respect and protect your peace. That's what I was trying to say. She's a school Jesus. like, that's ridiculous that it took me so long to say that. Um... So those are just like some things that I would say I would tell a freshman. And it's probably the most basic information ever, but it really would have helped me freshman year being like, truly believe in yourself, truly care less in the sense of comparing and just like know when it's okay to say no, you know, blank, blank, period, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, <laughs> but, um, so going back to graduating, um, so my major is journalism and mass communication with an emphasis in like media studies and then a minor in tourism management. Now, when I first went to college, I was like, I want to make movies, period. Um, then I realized probably not the best idea and then I was like you know what let's go into journalism I kind of want to be in front of the camera I want to be a broadcast reporter that also did not work <laughs> um so yeah now then I was like you know what I kind of want to write stories I kind of want to like just travel be a travel writer and that did not work because then I soon realized I don't like writing can you believe it I just don't like writing for the daily like I love journaling get my head going get my thoughts rolling but couldn't be writing every day of my life for hours and hours and hours and my head strains but then I was like you know what let's bring my passion back up there let's do photography videography then I compared myself governor I did it and I was like let's not do that anymore and then it was time to find an internship and I was like okay well let's like find something that I like but also is like not too demanding because these news ain't these news just these journalists like when in the, those job titles like the broadcasting route oh my god so stressful so stress induced like you have no life like i was talking to this girl that's friends with alana we were walking back to our parking and she was just like yeah i'm not going home for um christmas or new year new year's and i'm like oh like are you just staying here like do you not have family she's like no i'm working i was like are you in the journalism program she's like yeah and i was like oh my gosh you're and like you love doing this like you're not gonna miss your family she's like it's fine like it's not that big of a deal like I'm gonna miss my family but I'll go home this weekend maybe or the next we'll see America really does not care about 
rest. I, that's why I think I want to move to Europe so bad is because, yes, I could still live my life, but at the same time, they care for your well-being. Like, we had um, an Auster- Austra- blah, blah, blah. we had an Australian friend of ours come over, or her family come over, and homeboy was here, like, he's, oh my god, he's like a finance dude, and he's like, yeah, like, I'm paid time off. I'm like, oh, how long have you been here? Or, like, how long are you staying? He goes, oh, we're here for a month. You're being paid for a month? Oh my god. Couldn't be me. I'm also hourly and mentored, but, like, I'd be working over 100 hours this whole semester, and I've maybe gotten 15 hours of paid time off. That's, like, a whole week. Are you joking me? Ridiculous. I don't know what the salary base is, but my sister was looking into a job, and she said, like, 10 days paid time off. Oh, my God. Out of the whole year? That's 365 days. You must be joking. The whole career path of the nine to five and all that jazz is like kind of not for me because the lack of rest. Like I think I want a job that pushes me, but at the same time, like if I need rest, I'm gonna take it. And I would hope to be getting paid for it because would the actual Jesus the Jesus because that's not real. That is not real if someone is not making me rest. I don't know, I don't believe it, but you know what I agree with? I agree with Spain because I love when Spain, well, I don't know if it's the big cities, but I know the countryside, they be resting for a couple hours. They go home from like two to four, two to six, something like that. I'm not really um, up to date with my history and all that jazz, but I know for sure they sleep and they're having a ball over there in Ibiza. That's why they be sleeping because they be finding them too. But moral of the story is like, I went, wow, I really have a hard time with just getting to the goddamn point. So basically the whole point was I am studying journalism and mass communication, right? And I want to travel. So I go through all these phases in college and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and that. Does not happen. So I'm now graduating college and I'm really hoping this just skyrockets or something happens with this podcast or just like myself where I just find something I'm willing to, like if they sent me somewhere, like let's see like if my job if I have a job somewhere and they send me and I have to like work non-stop I would hope my future job I would love my future job basically I think I'm a little stress induced in the fact that I don't know what I want to do in life and I might vomit I don't know if that is a good thing or a bad thing because it truly scares me how like I don't know what I want to do. Um, I would love to do this for the rest of my life. Actually, funny story. Um, so I went to TikTok in the mix. A, a little other life update. I went to TikTok in the mix, and it was really good. It was, it was interesting, but it was really good if I was just an audience member. Like I was having a ball when I was also taking photos. But like being behind the scenes with the press, it was like, mm, like y'all really didn't take in the local people, but. TikTok in the mix and they were expecting all these headliner interviews but they got none and they only gave it to these TikTok interviewers like hosts and then they gave it to um they gave it to MTV billboards and some other people but I was just like that's kind of annoying like why why promise people certain interviews and not get those interviews in return but besides the point I did get to talk an interview with this um upcoming artist his name is Sam Barber and he was actually like he's really good like I started I like he was singing his songs and I was like oh shit like I would I would stream this it was given like Zach Bryan and Hoiser does that make sense maybe not the best analogy but he was good and he's his own person so I'm not trying to compare but wow like I'm gonna stream him and I realized so I was interviewing him and I was just like asking him I'm like how do you get to do this what's your passion like what's your inspiration when it comes to your music like what happens when you're stumped like where do you go what do you do um why do you like all the shots like who what, where, when or why right and then it got to the point where like he was just like talking and I was like wait like you got your start from TikTok right like you know video blew up he's like yes and like here I am today and I just think about that and I'm like TikTok really changed homeboy's life but then at the same time I was just sitting there and I was like I want to do this for the rest of my life like I want to talk to people <laughs> mass communication what like actually like I just sat there and I was like I want to interview in some sort of way but not necessarily like serious interviews but just like getting to know a person 
And it's so hard because there's so many interviewers like that to this day. Like the Hot Wings Challenge one, the girl that goes, um, oh my God, what's her name? I'm going to be, the fact that I don't know her name, but she like, she, she just didn't want what Dominic liked recently. And Jack Carlo, but not recently. She's a girl that's so sarcastic. She's born and British. I, I can't. She's like a chicken nugget. She does that like a chicken nugget. Whatever. But they all like interview these people and they're so funny and they're so cool. Like, I want to do that. I like need to call her or text. <laughs> Let me just call Taylor up. But I need to call people like them. Be like, either get my way in there, a little walk in the park and like see what's going on or something. Because I would just love to do that for the rest of my life. Like I was like, when he, we were talking, I was like, wow, I just like love conversating with people and getting to know them. But also, like, I would love to get paid for that, too. Like, imagine. Just because I like to ask myself this question. Like, what would I do if I didn't get paid? And if we lived in a world that did not revolve around capitalism, um, I would so be doing that. And I would just talk to people every day. <laughs> Which is so ironic because I actually, like, s- like, sit in my bed alone all the time. Like, I love being alone. But at the same time, I also want to, like, get to know, like, random people. Because I just want to know how people get to the place they are and, like, who they are for that reason. Does that make sense? Like, like, like some t- sometimes I'd be looking at people and maybe having a sort of um, fashion sense or sort some tattoos and some like rings and some just like, you know, fit it up in that sense. And I just want to know how they got to that point. But of course, I never ask them because it's personal. But if I was put in a setting where I'd be willing to ask them, I would so do so. So that's basically what I want to do with the rest of my life. But. I need some shmoney, so I might have to take a little detour. You know what I mean? But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a deaf keep this up, and I'm a deaf see where this goes, because I just want to see where something goes where I finally put my 100% into it. Because I was telling um the homegirls the other day, and I was like, I've never, they're like, what are you excited for? What is it, this, this, and that? Because I finally graduated. And they were like, I was like, I've never truly put my 100% into anything. Like, even this podcast, like, I record a week of and edit and I get it po- 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 well. I get it posted by, like, end of like by that Monday. So it's like, do I really like care? And I haven't been posting like. Main re- main thing is I started. Like I'm so glad I finally took the initiative to do something I told myself to do. Because again, going back on the trust thing, like I never, I don't really trust myself. I'm gonna be honest. Like in the sense of like when I tell myself I'm gonna do things, and then I go in bed or I go outside and I don't really do them. Like I just sit and like bask in those that energy like I'm just going with the waves but not in the sense of like putting my like I'm not taking charge of the waves like right now I'm just like "Mm, going in I'm a low-key drowner for a second I ain't gonna lie there were some months this year where I was low-key drowner (laughs) there's a point where I was really sad Mm, not really sad but just like kind of taking in the fact that I'm graduating and I was a little nerdy for that and so I was like overwhelmed and KGB, KGB Cash and me like sad and she just knows or sometimes she goes you should do an episode or whenever you're feeling down you should do an episode go, called Drowning in the Waves which might be this episode I'm not gonna lie I'm not drowning I'm just I can't really surf right now that's for sure I'm bodyboarding and it's not working to my in my favor you know what I mean <laughs> respectfully but when it comes to like grad life it's kind of funny because even just in your early 20s, it's, I saw this TikTok recently where it was like, when you're early 20s and you fi- feel like you need to find your niche and so like you start doing all these random ass hobbies. And I was like thinking to myself, I was like, I kind of just want to get into hobbies because one, I'm going to have the time and two, like, what if I, I end up being good at it? But I've been wanting to get into pottery so bad. Like the idea of just like, um, like the pottery wheels and all that jazz. Like I loved ceramics when I did it in high school and so I kind of want to get into that again, but then I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be making all these potteries if I get into it. Let's see if I trust myself and do what I actually say. <laughs> um, and I'm like, but imagine me going to these pottery classes and like putting them in, in the kiln, and then I'm like gonna have to bring them back. Like I'm gonna have all these random vases in the house and in my room. Like I'm like, do I really want that? Maybe I'll start gifting them and put flowers and just give them to people. That'd be kind of cute. Oh, maybe I'll do that because I need to start being nice to people. That's another thing I want to get into. Kind of being more in tune with myself. Like, I, like, sit there and I'm just like, mm. I be, like, queasy in the stomach sometimes or my heart be beating really fast, like, when I'm just laying down. 
And I'm like, okay, what's going on? And I'm like, I didn't even, I didn't do nothing. I've just been on my phone. Like, what am I subconsciously thinking to the point where I'm like, actually, my heart's beating out of nowhere. Like, am I anxious? I don't know. I truly don't know. I wish I did. Um, so that's something I want to work on. Um, my girlies, um, Kaylin and Nat, or I think Nat, I don't know who. Oh, they also got me this little frame. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of blocked by my coffee right now, but it's with the wave frame Nat got me. It's so cute. But anyways, I think Nat also got me this, but it was, um, the self-care journal. I'm going to start doing that because I've been wanting to journal, but I hate just writing out my thoughts. I like being asked questions because I, <laughs> I think that's what it is. I need, you know what it is. Not, I need to get in tune with myself. I need to figure out, like, maybe I do. I think I just can't control my emotions and I can't control my thoughts. That's why I'm not always thinking. Um, yeah. So I think I really need to get control of that and just control of myself, especially after grad and just, you know, learn how to be okay with things when it doesn't go my way and learn how to be in the now. Respectfully, I need to learn how to be in the goddamn now. Because I always wake up and I'm like, let's go. What's the next thing I need to do? No, girl, just chill out for a second. You just opened up your eyes. Like, literally chill. Like, take a breather. My God. Like, Shadi wakes up and I'm like, all right, what do I have to do today? I don't get up right away, that's for sure. I, I think about what I need to do today. But do I actually do it? It takes a second, but I do it. That's another thing about me. I want to stop complaining. Because here's the thing. People that are close to me know that I complain. <laughs> Quite a bit. But I end up doing what I need to do. Like, I'll be like, like, for example, I'll be like, ugh, like, I need, like, I need to go, um, like, I need to do this essay, do some bullshit, I don't know. And I'll just sit there for a second and I'll, like, keep complaining. But then I'll, like, do it. Or another thing is like, ugh, I have to go out. Ugh. Like, are you, girl, be so for real. One day you're not going to have friends. And especially when you move into a new city that you want to go to so badly. Like, girl. Be so for real. Experience life when you can. Like, I'm so contradictory. Like, there'll be days where I'm like, yes, like, be in the yes. Like, you guys are so boring. But then I'm like, I'm going to stay in today. Gosh. I'm goof. She's a funny one. Oh, you know what's actually so funny? Recently, I've been, like, trying new hairstyles. And I'm like, is this post-grad life? This is me trying to figure out who I am. I think it is. I think it is, and I think I'm okay with it, because it's kind of funsies. It's like postgrad, like, you can do whatever you want. You truly can. Like, I'm still an intern. Respectfully, I love the place I work at, but if I really, truly wanted to just, like, leave the state or the country, I could be like, hey, I'm putting in my two weeks. Love you guys. You have an, because they do have an intern. They have an intern coming in, so they don't really need me, but yeah. So, just excited for this new chapter, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. But that's kind of like all when it comes to my graduation and like post-grad life. Like, I don't know, I guess I'll keep you guys updated as I go um, with post-grad. But I'm really excited for it. <laughs> you know, when like something happens in your life and you kind of just want to have a change when it comes to your um, looks. I did cut my hair short this first, like, semester, and it really did me good, but I'm like, could I go shorter? But I'm, like, goofy because I really want to grow up my hair, so we need to chill. I just never want to dye my hair because it'll ruin my curls, so I never want to do that, but also what hair color would look good on me? You guys are really getting my inner thoughts today in this episode. It's kind of funny. I'm actually enjoying it. Um, anyway, so that's all with my post-grad life, but I guess I could get you guys updated with other aspects of my life. Um, as you all may know, I did delete the TikTok, but I did a get ready with me, and it was about me going on a date. That was fun. It was a fun date, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna get into it too much, but he was sweet. Um, I gave it a six out of 10 to my roommates. Just because I am being a little rude to you because I kind of ghosted him, just because he didn't, he did leave the ball in my court, so we he dropped me, he picked me up, and we went to Green Corn, which is a Mediterranean place, and then we went to Lights, and it was actually super fun, um, just, like, getting to talk to someone and, like, just meet people, like, I love meeting people, um, but then we were, like, 
But then we went home. We went, oh, frick. We, we also got hot cocoa. That was kind of nice. Um, hot, um, respectfully, the hot cocoa was ass, actually. I should have known. I just, Starbucks. Um, but actually, all hot cocoa is ass. I've never had, like, good hot cocoa, respectfully. Like, I've, mm, yeah, like, never. Like, I go, like, maybe if there's a Lindor truffle in there, you know what I mean? But, or is that even a word? I don't know. But anyways, it was really good. Then we drove home, and he, like, draw me off, and I go to, like, we get out of the sides, and I go to give him, give him a hug, and I was like, all right, like, see you later. I feel like I also did talk too much on this date, because, and was it even a date? I don't even know. Um, yes, it was. I need to stop doing that, but I was like, I talk too much when I'm nervous, and I just never want there to be awkward silence, and there was, like, a couple times where it was kind of, like, it was silent, um, and I hate that, so anyway, so we, we hugged each other goodbye, and I was like, all right, like, I was like, thank you so much for inviting me, like, this was so fun, da, 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 da. and then he was gonna say something, but I was like, text me, because <laughs> I don't do that shit, I don't like texting people, I hate texting people, and then he was like, um, no, you text me, I was like, ah, governor, you got me there, I've learned, I'm, I was like, as of recent, I've stopped learning how to play basketball, like, the, the, te- he did, he did leave the ball in my court, and I truly don't know what to do with that, um, I just didn't want to waste his time or his money respectfully and he's doing stuff like he's leaving in a month um all that I think he already left I'm gonna be dead ass um he's just doing stuff and I was like this was great it was great meeting another person um but I don't think we should expand this into anything further keep eating I should add more to that story but yeah just um how do I say this there were some like cons and I just like truly did not see going further um I'm gonna leave it at that another thing is I ended cum laude with college but that don't matter like I was really trying because I was this close to not actually I was gonna have it the whole time it was just like my semester one like I could have gone like magna cum laude um, but then I didn't, it was whatever, but at the end of the day, I was struggling so hard on getting this GPA, and I was like, yes, it might matter to some people, and it mattered to me, but I think it mattered to me in the sense of, like, just being able to show my dad that I got on the, um, honor roll, what is it called? Dean's list. It does not matter. Like, I should, let me tell you what happened, so, (laughs) I'll put a video in, actually, like, right here. And so I basically, as you saw, I basically, um, like, I, some people were lackluster when they were getting their diploma. Oh my God. Like, I'm, I pay $50 to be here. I'm going to take that screen time. Like, some people, I get it, like, nerve wracking to be in front of a crowd, but I, um, so basically some people were just like, they grabbed their diploma, it said their name. Also, they, the people were having some te- technical difficulties because they're using AI now to name names. Like, are you kidding me? Like, we're so lazy nowadays. Just name the names. Anyway. Um, I just miss human connection nowadays. That's what I'm so scared of, actually, is AI taking over this world. And no one's going to be able to communicate anymore. So what was my mass communication degree for? <laughs> like, what am I going to do? Sit behind a computer all day? No. I'm going to commu- communicate with people. Um, but yeah, so basically that happened and some people were just like holding it. They were like, they were like, like Jessica Smith. And then they just walked off and I was like, oh no, baby, I am going to enjoy this time and I'm going to take it in, especially after these three and a half years. So I walk up and she, first of all, the girl home girl was stressed. She was like, get on there by your name and then leave. And I was like, chill. So anyways, we get there and, um, she says, she, I say, I say my cheese and I hear my family love them. I hear my family and my two friends that came, Matt and Kayla, um, they, Loki was such a small stadium that I could like see them. So it was really cute. Um, uh, but I just gave them a little blow and a little wave and then I saw Dean Bass and I was like, he's a, he's a respectful man. I've seen him about a couple times on campus, never truly talked to him, gotten to know him, probably should have again with networking opportunity, but here I am lacking um but yeah so basically I as I see people I'm, I'm towards the back just because it's not alphabetical order it's just like you sit wherever you sit um 
but after the end of the after the end of the little like moment of like taking photos and like giving a kiss or whatever to the to my homegirl and my fam, um, I go over and I give I, I'm like I need to give this man a stern ass handshake like it's the the nod and the shake and I need to like I feel like I I gave this man I gave this man a t- I I hope I left an impression on people there because I was just like why are you guys not having fun like it's like you guys just graduated preschool like you colored in the lines. I'm like, y'all fully went through three and a half years of put grunt. Like, respectfully, like, some of these, Cronkite's not that, like, easy. There were some days where I was questioning my degree because I just <laughs> did not want to do this. Um, so I was just like, y'all need to take up this screen time. Like, hit it up. Like, I don't know what y'all are doing. But, so anyways, I took that moment and I was like, I'm a shine. Anyways, no, but it was fun. Um, I was sad that I wasn't graduating with the two girlies I went into freshman year with. Um, but it's okay. I'll be there in the audience when they're graduating. It'll be super fun. So, yeah, I'm not that. I was kind of saying when I walked in by myself, though, I was like, guys, like, where is everyone? And also, I have no other friends except for them. I had some friends, actually. Like, when I got there, I, like, I sat down and I got there pretty early. But then when I, when the ceremony happened, I was like, wait, I know you. I know you. I'm like, why didn't I just wait a second like, sit with them? But, funny story, I actually sat next to this girl that looked like low-key familiar I was like this girl looks so familiar with that she comes then she starts talking I'm like okay she sounds familiar like who is she and then I like she lifts up her like arm and like her gown like this tattoo shows and I'm like I've seen like so sus but I'm like I've seen this tattoo before and then I go and then I hear her voice again and I'm like quick question and then she says her name and it was like Oakley I think and I was like quick question were you in non-narrative storytelling with Professor Lynn, and she was like, yeah. I was like, girl, hey. So I thought I made a new friend, but really we've always been in class. No one really talked in that class, actually, now that I think about it. Like, it was really awkward. No, it wasn't. Some people talked, some people didn't. It's all right. For funny, funny for journalism and mass communication, you have some of the t- most talkative people in that major, or you don't. It's actually truly so funny. Like, you get, you get either or. Like, there's really no between. Like, you have the sports broadcasters that don't know when to put a cork in it. Like, it's truly aggravating when they speak. But they did keep the classroom alive, I would say, for some some classes. Like, sometimes it was a good amount where I was like, thank you for speaking. Like, we needed that gesture. Um, but other times it was like, mm, like, you're kind of doing too much. But, or you had the people that didn't talk. Actually, I could say I was in between. Because it depended who I talked to. I just, I guess I wasn't the class clown, but I was more so, like, inviting. Was I, though? I don't know. Um, but all I have to say is, but, like, yeah, I don't know, life is kind of interesting. I've, it's kind of funny because (laughs) Kayla told me the other day, she was like, John, because me and Taylor, we both graduated together, and she was like, we both kind of were just like, I don't make big thing, big deals out of things because I just, like, I don't know. I just I don't make a big deal out of birthdays. Well, the, for myself. Like, I make a big deal for other people. But, like, for myself, I don't make a big deal out of birthdays. I don't make a big deal out of, like, ceremonies like this. Like, all this jazz. And I'm so glad I have people around me that are so excited about life because I truly need that. Because I just don't – I don't take the time to – like, my sister, like, I graduated on the big commencement. She's like, oh, my God. And I'm like, yes. And she's like, well, you're not acting like it. I'm like, girl, we have different types of excitement. Like, I I smile when I'm excited, and you scream like bloody murder. So, you should pick or choose. I mean, see, like, I don't bother to shoot what, like, you, way you want, you know? Um. <clears throat> anyways. But, yeah, so basically, Kayla told me, she was like, Johnny, you really need to start, like, like, I'm going to be, I'm going to be graduate, graduate Zilla, grad, grad Zilla. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, that's you, baby, like yeah and then she was like no like John like you need to actually be excited for this like you don't know the next time you're gonna have a big like milestone in your life and I was like what do you mean she's like girl the next one is probably marriage and you'd be saying you don't want it and I was like oh and she's actually not wrong the next big milestone is marriage and I don't know if that's ever gonna really be in the in the ring for me so I might I, so then I really was I sat there and I was like I'm, I'm proud of myself Cause I'm not really gonna be proud about bagging a man. No, he's gonna be proud about bagging me. The fuck, respectfully. 
Um, but yeah, so I'm just, I'm excited. Here, I'll leave off with this. I'm excited for what's to come. I'm super proud of myself for graduating in three and a half years, when really I could have probably done three plus one. Don't look at the past. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm so excited about what's to come. I can't wait to finally put effort into myself in my work so then I put enough effort to where it's good but I just know I can do more like in my mind recently I've been just like I can do more like I can I I just see myself going so far in the sense of being like I don't know I just literally it's there it's like in there and I like can grab it I don't know when that time is going to be. I don't know when my big break is going to be. I don't know. It's just, I literally don't know how to describe it. I don't want to sound narcissistic because I'm not. Like, I don't want to sound narcissistic. Whoa. The goddamn stuttering this episode. I don't want to sound narcissistic at all. But, like, I literally just see myself, like, going far. And, like, like I don't know. Like, I just, like, see it in the sense of, um, and I'm, I'm ready to just give give it all like I'm just ready to because I've I've always been like yeah I don't really care like in the sense of like like give it to God I never actually give it to God like I'm like oh I don't care anymore how I give it to God Shani is holding on by the by the pinky she's tugging on that rope like she is never truly letting go and I think I meant this this year I'm gonna let go like I'm gonna just like do something let it go and hopefully it comes back into the playing field when the time is right because I think that's my problem is I I'm just waiting because I think I need to have everything figured out now when I don't Shawty, no one really made their big break until they were 40 I probably won't even have my first kid till I'm 40 who cares 21 is so young like if I look around like yeah there's some people getting married a lot of people from my like high school are getting married right now Slow down. I'm so happy that you found your number one. But geez Louise, I don't think I'm ready. If someone knelt down on the ground right now, like imagine this. I think I would actually run away. I would freeze and I would vomit and I would go home to my mama and I'd be like, oh my God, no. I don't know. Anyways, let go, let it get to God. Let, it, let go and let God is basically what I'm saying. Um, and yeah, I just, I hope the best for my future and I'm just super excited to finally like I'm glad my mentality is not oh my god I'm so scared and it's more so like what is gonna happen like let's go like what good things are coming my way like I'm glad that my mindset has shifted to the point where I'm like let's get it going let's see where life is going and let's see how good it can get so with that being said don't forget to go with the waves and have a great day